guys! Um, I'm filming down in my living room today just because I thought it would be a nice change and it's like the warmest, cosiest room in the house because it like, keeps heating better and this is a big ass real Christmas tree behind me so it smells like Christmas in here so I thought it would be nice to film the video in here. Um, so I have a big ass box right here. Oh it's heavy! Big big box right here and can you see who that's from? I don't know if you can read that from there. That is from the website Queen of Darkness. Um, so I have a big ass haul unboxing thing for you today, but it's not just any haul and unboxing, it is also um, my announcement video. So I am actually now an ambassador for Queen of Darkness, so that means I'll be working with them to promote their products and also I'll be wearing the clothes and such and showing you guys how you can like make outfits with them. And I should also hopefully be attending some of the bigger goth festivals in Europe next year. Um, so yeah, it's all really, really exciting. Um, you can check out their page for more. They've got a blog and everything. They've got their Facebook page. And yeah, so I just thought it'd be a great time to tell you guys because now I have this big box of stuff to show you. Um, I haven't even opened this yet because I, like, I was like, right, no, just save it. Wait until like it came through and I wanted to rip it open straight away. But I was like, no, save it for the video. Save it for the video. So um, I'm not sure exactly what's in here because there were a few things I think that I wanted that maybe weren't in stock. I'm not entirely sure which ones though. Um, I decided to just leave it and <laughs> have it as a surprise. So let's try to open this. Go. Oh! Don't worry, no major tragedies yet. Here we go. Okay, what's this? this is, oh. Okay, I have a sticker. Can you see it? Yeah. I'll have to find somewhere fun to put that. And a cool Queen of Darkness bag here. So that's awesome. I can actually use that for my shopping, so I don't have to use ugly Tesco bags anymore. Awesome! <laughs> okay, right, on to the actual stuff then. What have we got? What have we got? I've got a lot. Okay. So, I'm just gonna like open things as I come to them in the box. Here we go. Okay. So, these are a pair of super cute shorts. They're all sort of like raggedy and cut off at the bottom and they have this lace up de detailing on the side and obviously they have these zips and stuff and the button actually has the little bat from the Queen of Darkness logo on it which is really really cute Yeah, I've already got some really cute outfits planned for all the clothes I got from them I'll be doing outfit videos with all these clothes eventually uh, these are great quality, they're nice and thick, they're not all like flimsy and annoying like some things you'd get so that's good so because I've never actually um, bought from Queen of Darkness before so many people, all my followers are like oh my god Queen of Darkness and stuff somehow I'd never heard of it, I'm so glad that they got in touch because I actually looked on their website and ended up loving their clothes so it's like great so this is my first ever experience with Queen of Darkness clothes so this is my first thing and so far I am impressed it's like as I say it's nice good sturdy quality and they seem like they should fit okay but I'll be trying stuff on in a later video because right now in my house it's really dark and a bit awkward and I'm in the middle of storing clothes to make room for new clothes <laughs> so um, I'll be doing proper outfits videos soon at the minute I just want to show the quality and talk about it so that's those pop those down okay this um, probably isn't really going to look like anything until I put it on I'll pop a little picture here um, it's like a really cool chain bolero and I saw this and just fell in love. It's so cool and it's just you can kind of add it to whatever outfit you want. Um, it's probably going to take me a while to figure out which way it goes. Oh no, I can see. Okay, no, I think I think I should be able to figure this out. But yeah, it's just like even just holding it like that, it looks really cool. And I'll put the picture and I just thought it looked amazing. Um, again, it's good sort of like thick chains. There's no little weak links. Given it a tug, it doesn't break immediately because I've gotten some chain things, you know, online before, and you literally go like that, and it just they just break. So this is good and sturdy. Obviously, I'm not going to like rip at it or anything, but it's good so far. I really, really like that. What are you? Oh, it's soft. Whatever it is. Hello. Um. know what this is yes this is like a really beautiful oh it's protective paper uh beautiful like poncho type thing it has like a really big baggy sort of high neck so it hangs like that and it has these dangly sort of raggedy bits on the bottom and it does have sleeves as well and this is so soft i had like i had no idea what this was when i was taking it out all i felt was like ooh, soft 
and this is one of the things I was really excited to get so I'm glad that this, this was in stock. I'm probably going to wear this with the shorts and like some ripped tights and stuff and like big boots and I really really love how like silky and stuff this is. It's just ooh, I love it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Ah yes, this was another one I was really excited to get. This is a dress. So it is long sleeved. The back is like sort of like just a plain matte. Oops, sorry, I'm too busy looking at these clothes. <laughs> it's a sort of like plain matte black. And on the front, I can't really describe what this is. It's got like a panel of this sort of, ooh, bear with me, sort of like shiny eh. <laughs> stuff and I, I don't know what this is like it feels kind of like velvety but it looks more like leather whatever it is it's really really soft and lovely and has this cool big hood and the buckle details here on the neck and it's like this big baggy dress and it's shorter at the front than it is at the back so you know it'll be really long at the back and it'll show both leg and the front and I just thought this was so so cool it's like sort of like the post-apocalyptic style that I really like but without like the thousand pound price tag that you always find online so I'm really excited to try this on. This is... Oh, they did send this! Oh! What just flew away? Something just flew away. Okay, so this is the little separate kit bit. So it comes with a little separate kit, but this is like a really, really lovely sort of coat. It's like kind of Lolita style almost, and it has this bow here on the front with some buttons and it has a bow on the back. I'm sorry if you have had um, me showing these clothes particularly well because I've only just realised I've been too busy looking at the clothes and not at the camera this entire time. But yeah, and it has this lovely like fake fur collar and then this like detachable little cape that goes around it. Um, I'll put a picture of that there as well. Just, uh, I'll, I'll try. I'll see. Anything that I feel like needs a picture I'll put it throughout this video. Oh, my ears just cleared. Hello. <laughs> um, but yeah, it has the little detachable cape that you tie around. Oh, this is so soft and lovely. I was really hoping for this and I got it and I love it. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, okay. Um, where, aha. Bear with me. Oh, how do you open this? Like that, that's how you open this. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm starting to like talk really fast as well, but my camera's like, hey, you're almost out of battery. And I know that, but I couldn't find my charger. <laughs> Next up is this really, really lovely skirt. And as you can see, it has this cool, like, sort of lacy, leathery, well, it's not real leather. Well, I assume it's not real leather. Um, but yeah, like, corset detail at the top. It's sort of high-waisted. And the really cool thing is you can wear it down just long like this, or it has little hoops, kind of like halfway down, and then little buckles up on the corset bit, and you can hitch it up. I've only done one side there, but you see, it gives this really cool effect. Let me see if I can do this. another couple. Um, there we go. So yeah, obviously it's got to look weird if it's not on, but you can like wear it sort of hitched up like that. And um, again, I'll put a picture. And it's just so cool, and I can't wait to wear this. It's going to be so much fun. Okay, next up is a bag. Really heavy, wow. But, like in a good way, like heavy, like you know, you can tell it's good quality. Let's see. So I'll just take all the wrappers off. Awesome. Okay. So. So it's this bag. And as you can see, it has like a sort of like diamondy, what to call that, rhinestone, I suppose, skull here. And it's got all these chains and straps and like zippy detail. And it's just so cool. And it's a decent size. It's a decent weight. Oh, yep, camera stopped recording. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I dropped something there. I was going, oh my god, did I break it? I didn't. It's all good. So yeah, it's like this. As I say, it, just, it feels like really thick and good quality, which is good because like I tend to buy really cheap bags and then I put too much stuff in them because like cheap sort of women's bags I've noticed are really not made to carry anything. Therefore your lipstick and your phone is that and that is it. But I carry a lot of crap and I'm always breaking my bags. This actually feels great quality. Oh yes! And it has a shoulder strap because like Sometimes I like to carry my bags, you know, like this, but generally if I'm like out trying to do stuff it annoys me because they'll slip down my arm you know, if I'm trying to shop or something. So it also has a strap so you can wear it as a messenger bag, which is perfect because messenger bags are my favourite type ever. But you can also wear it like this, so that's perfect. It's kind of like two in one. 
Um, let me see, does it have any pockets? It does. It has like nice little, it's got a zippy pocket and it's got some of those little compartments you get, you know, where you put your phone and stuff. So that's really good. So yeah, I love this so much. It's probably going to be like my new go-to bag, especially because I recently broke my latest one. <laughs> and the last thing. Yes. I need to kind of fluff it out, but it is this big furry fur coat. It's just got little, um, there we go, papery bits to protect the buckles, but it's this buckled up, big, fluffy, fluffy coat, and it's really soft, and I can tell it's gonna be warm, which is good, because in Northern Ireland, the temperature has just plummeted out of nowhere, and I've been freezing to death. I get a cold every week or so, basically, and it goes away, and then it comes back, so it's good to have this and the other coat, because they both feel really, really warm. So I got this in a nice big size, so I can just curl up in it, and it just, it feels so nice. I love big furry coats. I used to have one that I wore like constantly whenever I was about 13 and now I have one again and I love it. So yeah, that is everything I got from Queen of Darkness for now. Um, I'm really, really impressed. Like I said, this is my first ever, first, first ever experience with Queen of Darkness clothes. Um, I'm really, really happy. Like I said, I didn't really know what to expect. But then I got a lot of good, good feedback from you guys and stuff, and I was like, okay, well that's good. And you know, obviously you've all heard of it, and you really love the brand, so that made me more excited to work with them and show you guys the stuff. And um, yeah, I'm really, really impressed with the quality. It is all great. There wasn't a single problem. Like I'm not being paid to say this or anything. I'm an ambassador with them now, but I'm not being paid to say like, yes, there's stuff great. Buy it, even if it's crap. I'm saying what I genuinely think about the clothes and. On f at first glance, I didn't have a single problem. Like, with most things, you're like, oh, there's some threads here, or oh, this could be a bit better. I loved everything, so I am really, really excited to try all this on. Like I said, I'll be bringing you a separate out outfit video whenever it's a bit brighter outside, so I can go out and get a bit of space for you guys. But um, for now, I just wanted to show you the clothes and talk about the quality and give you this announcement because I was really excited. Uh, so yeah, that is my Queen of Darkness haul unboxing review type video and my announcement. Um, you'll definitely be seeing more of that and uh, whenever I figure out what's happening with the festivals of course I will make announcement videos in case any of you are going to because I can meet you there and that would be really exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm excited. I'm just babbling away because I'm excited. Uh, right, but my camera is flashing at me. It's very angry that I haven't charged it, so I better go. And the cat is scratching at the door to get in, so... Um, remember to stay tuned to the end of the video for some links, and there'll be links in the description box below, including to the store. Please, please, please check the description box before asking me, do you have a link to the website? Because it's down there, and you guys always do that, and I love you, but it drives me crazy. Um, so yeah, all the links will be in the description box below, and there's some links at the end of the video. And it's all just really good stuff. And uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you've ever bought from Queen of Darkness. Let me know what you thought. And um, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.